the Nook HD, which is 7 inch, with a resolution of 1440 by 900. This is playing a YouTube video with the YouTube app using the Nook to Android micro SD card, and it's the downloaded version of the image installed onto a 32 gig memory card. As you can see, it's quite clean. Press the home button. Let's wait for the iPhone to sync back up. As you can see, that's all running off a Class 4 SanDisk SD card. I'm getting about 2,400 in quadrant, but as you can see, all the games are there. Pretty nippy. To allow for the limitations of the iPhone 9. There's quite a lot of detail on the actual screen. Go back to the normal web browser and pull up a website. Go to See it's a cobalt, right? So we'll keep saying cobalt. Should be saying cobalt when it's not cobalt. It's the nook. As you can see. see the blue bar at the top showing it loading. The screen is a lot brighter than what this video makes out. It's hell of a lot brighter than what this video makes out. Here we go. Not quite fully loaded, but it's. And then if I turn it this way, you can actually, if the iPhone focuses, you can actually read the text on it, thanks to the 900 resolution. Again, the focusing problems with the actual phone I'm recording on. You see, it's uh, quite nippy. Go back home. It's a bug stand, Cobol. Cobol! Nook. Got me edits a nook for some reason. Happy Geek. Turn it that way. Nice and smooth. It does freeze now and again, but remember, it is a SD card. It's reading and writing so all the time. It's not the internal NAN memory. This is the free version, but with the Field of Dreams being purchased, and it's the HD version. You see, it's pretty smooth, you know. What's that one? It's a bit hard to do when I'm holding it. I got the tablet for it's a 16 gig, gig version. I got it as a grade A for £88 from CEX. And the cheapest you can actually buy the Nook HD is uh, £62 for the 8 gig version. The internal memory doesn't matter, it's what your size. Oh, I don't know why that uh, didn't work. It's what size SD card you actually run it on. Let's see if it'll run. Sometimes games, no, it's. Let's try that one. I've not tried that game on it before.
this does work, but again, it's hard to do with only. Oh. <laughs> the tank works. <coughs> Put into landscape mode. Again, the resolution really does make it shine out compared to other 7 inch Android tablets that only generally run it either 1280 by 800 or 1024 by 600. Again, this is 1440 by 900. The only problem with the end to a version of Jelly Bean, the Bluetooth is uh, a bit temperamental when it comes to audio devices, but it seems to work with keyboards fine enough. So the uh, Bluetooth mouse. Test on that. So I'm going to the proper test. Well, as you can see visually, anyway. per second on the bottom. A better resolution than the iPad mini, that's only 1024 by 768 plus Remember, this is running from the memory card, so it's not going to be too high. Two, th three, eight, two. If you actually put uh, the Google Play Store on the Nook through the information you can get off XDA forums, you can actually get it to do around 3100 on the quadrant test. Because that uses the internal memory, which is a lot quicker than the Class 4 SanDisk drive that I've got. Again, you can go into the Play Store on this. It's See how clear that screen is. It's really nice. And for £88 plus in the UK, well, it's $20, works out about. Currently about just over thirteen pound plus the price of the memory card to get the end to a and a lot more games will work using this method than what they will using the uh, one where you write the Google Play start to the actual Nook itself, so the Nook software is still on it. And on this one, all you do is take the memory card out and it'll boot back into the Nook operating system so it doesn't invalidate any warranties if you don't install on the Google Play to the internal memory which
which is done using the different method. It's not done using the end to a curve. Again, nice little tablet with an amazing screen on it. Thanks.